Good afternoon and welcome to the Orlando Premium Outlets closest to Universal Studios. Holy cow, the parking here is crazy. I do know that it's the Sunday before Labor Day, but you might think that we'd be here to go to the Disney Outlet. We're not. We're do something I've never done before. Outlets pigeon confused by all the people. We're gonna ride the iRide trolley. I've never done it before. Headed down to uh, Point Orlando and then back to here. I'm excited. It's gonna be fun. I can't wait. This is what route we're taking. We're getting on right here. And we're gonna ride it all the way down to here. And then back. We could go all the way down to the other outlets. There's the group of people that are waiting to take the trolley. Oh boy, it's right there. It's across the street. It's coming to us next. Well, this is kind of annoying. It came and stopped at the stop across the street and then went that way and hasn't come back yet for going on like 10 minutes, 15 minutes now. And this storm grows closer and closer. Yay, we did it. We've been waiting a little while for them to put a wheelchair on. There are a lot of people trying to get on this bus. I think there's another bus right behind us. This isn't exactly a fast mode of transportation. Right about at the area where you can walk across to head over to Universal right there. Like I said, I wouldn't do it. Doesn't seem safe. I think one day I will do it though, just to do it for you guys. There's all that's left of Wet n Wild. Nothing. After having a car and driving this road, this bus is kind of annoying. They just keep cramming more and more people on this bus. Made it to the Rosen Inn International. I've been on this bus for 15 minutes now. Just passing by. What is this called? It's called the Epic McDonald's. I think we're going to stop 29. Goodness gracious. Passing by the new Mango's Garage. This thing is gigantic and seems unnecessary. But there's Mango's. Never been in there. I guess it's like a big party all the time. Passing by Pizzeria Uno. And also, oh, what's this? Fogo de Chao. Oh man, I can't wait. We have a thing in Orlando here called Magical Dining where we can eat there for like $35 and I can't wait to go. Also, it should be noted that uh, there's so many people on the bus right now that we stopped at a stop and people couldn't get on because nobody was getting off. I had no idea there was a Friendly's down here. Look at that. The helicopter tour is just landing. Real crazy like. And here we are at the Rosen Inn. Oh, look at this crazy looking bus stop. That was a very popular stop. That was the Rosen Inn. Well, there it is. That was my stop. I made about halfway and with waiting and everything, it took me about an hour to get, couldn't have been more than like five miles up the road. <laughs> and now we're heading over to Point Orlando, which is just kind of like another outdoor mall type area. I'm really hoping that this storm doesn't start pouring on me because I didn't bring an umbrella. A lot of really interesting stuff. Like there's a Tommy Bahama, Marlowe's Tavern. There's a BB King's Blues Bar, Blues Club over here, Taverna Opa, uh, Funky Monkey, which actually started down more towards Orlando. And then I think they moved out here so that they could get more business. But you guys can see the Hyatt Regency right here, which is very close to the convention center. So if you come to a convention here in Orlando, you will probably be coming down to Point Orlando to eat. You can get like a good idea of the map here and then you can see some of the stuff that's available to do here. And one of the things that I'm interested in seeing is this 40X theater. Lots and lots of restaurants. And then just a few, you know, like a Tommy Hilfiger, Victoria's Secret, stuff like that for you to do a little bit of shopping at. It really is completely random with the amount of people that were on our bus compared to the amount of people that are here there's nobody out here. Oh, there's a Johnny Rockets here. You guys know I love my hamburgers, and they sell hamburgers. There's a place here called The Pub, which I'm assuming is supposed to be like a like a UK pub, but I feel like they should have named it something better than The Pub. Oh, yeah, there's an ice bar out here too. I would not suggest going to the ice bar because drinks are very expensive and it's just kind of like a novelty thing, but it is another thing to do. Kind of a lot of stuff going on here. This is, I think, called V-Play Virtual Reality, just like a whole place devoted to virtual reality. And then there's another place down here called Main Event Eat, Bowl, and Play. Oh, it's right there, Main Event Entertainment. And then we're headed over to the theater. Oh, okay, I was wrong. That, that virtual reality thing is all part of the bowling alley. Like, this is all the bowling alley. There's like a big old arcade over there. Let's go inside this place and just have a look around. This is the Main Event Entertainment place. It looks like you have to get in line and pay to go inside. But it kind of looks like Dave and Buster's. It's kind of interesting. Like, there's Monkey Joe's over here. It's like a playground type thing indoors for kids. 
And then if we look, there's a bunch of closed off places that don't have businesses in them anymore. Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. So funny because growing up in Orlando, you hear about places like Adobe Gila's on the radio, but I've never seen this place in my life. Never seen it. This is a first for me. Also, Fatfish Blue is a strange name for a place. Hard Knocks is actually like a laser tag arena, but it's <laughs> like the most hardcore laser tag you've ever heard of in your life, where it's like what military would go through for their training. It's also interesting to see like, right next to Adobe Gila's is this place called Historic Lafayette that I've never heard of in my life. Apparently it's Cajun food. Now we're outside of BB King's, this Keith Richards looks uh, ridiculous. And then there's Taverna Opa, and this is where they like smash plates all around you as if you were at like, I guess a Greek wedding, like some sort of Greek festivity. Goodness gracious, this is a big movie theater. One of our few IMAX screens in town. Also a 4DX screen, in case you guys are wondering what 4DX is, it has motion, vibration, water, sense, bubbles, wind, lightning, rain, fog, and sn snow. Why would you ever be watching a movie that snow would? I guess if you were watching Frozen and snow happened, I would definitely have this same look on my face. Look, he's like a robot. Do you guys see that? That reflection right in his eyeball. Give you guys a little bit of a sense of bearing. Here's the movie theater. This is that main event bowling alley slash uh, arcade that we looked at earlier. And then over behind me is BB King's. I can't tell what else is down here. Well, this is weird. I think I'm in part of BB King's grill thing there's like lights and there's a bar there there's a bunch of kegs over here this is weird what where am i oh, okay there we go there is the pub right there and oh look here's the rosen i don't know if that's the rosen inn or if it's just called the rosen back in this weird bar area and i was sort of right there's tommy bahamas right over there and that is like a retail store and a restaurant which is interesting to me so like if you ever spill something on your shirt, you can just go inside and buy a new one. Although it is like a $200 shirt. Now, I know that I'm here at three o'clock on a Sunday, but this is such a strange place. It's open, everything is open, but it seems like nothing is open. Maggiano's is a place that we have eaten at before, a long time ago, before we were vlogging. Just, I think it's just like a regular uh, Italian restaurant. I remember it being somewhat good. Have you guys eaten here before? And let me know how it is in the comments down below. Ah, yes. It's 97 degrees outside, but we got the fire going. This is Copper Canyon Grill. Well, there certainly is a lot less here than I thought there was because I'm at the parking garage now. That's everything that we just looked at. I think I'm done. Dang. Took a quick little walk down this direction. There's like a scooter store for pro scooters. That's pretty interesting. And then a Tommy, a Tommy Hilfiger clearance section. This seems like more of, more like retail space down here than restaurants or anything. Certainly seems like the most random spot for a Hollister. Here's Monkey Joe's. I can't really show you the inside. I think I have to have a kid to go in there, but it is just like a giant playground indoors. Well, like I said, there's not as much here as I thought there was. So we're heading back to the bus stop, taking our long and crowded bus ride back to the outlets to the crowded outlets, of course, and then uh, we're making our way back home. This is kind of interesting. There is a shuttle that'll take you to SeaWorld, Aquatica, Busch Gardens, or Discovery Cove from right here. So if you're staying across the street, you don't need to get a car or a bus or a taxi or anything. Well, you'd have to get a bus, but it's provided by SeaWorld as long as you have a valid SeaWorld ticket or Busch Gardens or Aquatica or Discovery Cove. Oh man, how do you get this prime spot? These must be like the guys that own Maggiano's because they are parked right out front. There's also Wonderworks right outside. Like here's the Point Orlando parking garage and here's Wonderworks. Sort of similar to what we got when we went to Ripley's Believe It or Not, but uh, more like science-y type stuff and mind games. We did indoor skydiving a long time ago, but they've since moved locations. Here's the new location. And also right next to it is Ice Bar, which is very similar to that one bar that I said don't go into because it's just a novelty thing. Very expensive cover and uh, everything's in ice and you have to wear a parka. I walked up and the bus just showed right up. Way fewer people on this bus. I've been to Hell at the Moon before and it's fun. It's just like everything else down here, expensive. You have to pay a cover and they don't have any food either. Just drinks, but you can bring food from it like the Hooters next door. Oh look, there's the Castle Hotel. It looks like a castle. Now Pretty neat. Has anybody ever stayed there? Ooh. 
Oh, that's, that's the crazy dog. Is that crazy dog? No. It is? Yeah, it is. Oh, it is. Look at them waving their clubs about. Just passing by the Orlando Eye, or what's it called now? The Coca Cola Orlando Eye. We gotta get back out there. It's fun. We'll have to come back out here one day for Uncle Julio's. They've got a chocolate pinata as one of their desserts, and you have to like beat it open and then more dessert comes out of the center of it. Here's the foundation for the world's tallest star flyer that's gonna go there. 450 feet tall. Like a giant swing set, basically. And there's Ripley's Believe It or Not. Remember when we went there? I'll put a link to the video in the description down below. Oh, Chuck E. Cheese. This, uh, the trip back is definitely going a lot faster than the trip out to Point Orlando from the outlets. You guys see that swing set right there behind this billboard that's spinning around? That's a star flyer. So, that place that I showed you earlier will be a 450 foot tall version of that. Right there. How frightening does that sound? You gotta come out here one day and play the Whirly Dome too. It's basically like bumper cars with lacrosse. Hard to explain. Wow, this bus sounds rickety. There's what's left of Wet n Wild. Holy cow. That is impressive. It's so interesting because we used to come to Wet n Wild all the time and now there's just nothing left. Not even the sign. Here's where the main entrance was. Holy cow. Just piles of dirt now. Soon to become another hotel for Universal Orlando Resort. We never come out here or do any shopping out here. Are there any good shops that you guys have been to out here? Or are they all just kind of like silly touristy shops? Look at this giant soccer player. He's very angry. Can tell you one place we have been down here and that is Hash House at Go-Go. That place was good. We'll put a link to that video up in the corner up here. I think it's that side. Maybe it's this side. And what's left of Artagon over there? Not many shops, just the big ones like Bass Pro Shops there. To admit, these seats are interesting. Not very comfortable, but they're interesting. One thing I can say about the iRide trolley is that the direction you're traveling really makes a difference as far as which, as far as how crowded the bus will be. She's texting with Jen and she reminded me, King of the bus, King of the bus. Here we are back at the outlets. I feel like I should give you a bit of advice as far as the iTrolley goes. All those people over there are waiting at the bus stop that I waited at, and it was another 15 minutes before the bus came after it dropped people off there. Because it was 15 minutes from when it dropped off the people at the northbound bus stop one, turned around and came back and picked up the people for the southbound bus stop one, I would see if it's possible to get on the bus at northbound bus stop one, ride it to the end, and then just stay on. Because then you have a spot, you're in the air conditioning, and I'm waiting out the heat, waiting for the bus to show up. Just give it a try, see if that works. I don't know if it will, but I think that that would be a good way to get on the bus, get in the air conditioning, and avoid waiting in a crowd of people. Whoa, all right. Well, there's a like, billboard here at the outlet malls. There you have it, a trip from the most popular, it seems like, outlet mall, although I don't think it's the best one. I think the one down by Disney is better, to Point Orlando on the iTrolley. It was my very first time doing that. It was interesting. It was an interesting experience. I could see how that would be convenient if you didn't have a car, but me, coming from somebody that lives here with a car, I would never take it again. But that being said, we are off, and I will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.